Hi, it's Michelle from Lab Muffin Beauty Science, Chemistry PhD, Cosmetic Chemist, Bleeding Heart Greenie, Millennial, and opposite of Domestic Goddess. Domestic Demon, like I just haunt a specific part of the airport, I don't have a passport so I can't get out. And Facebook can obviously tell because they've been serving me zero co ads. I mean, look at that branding, it's catnip for millennials. So obviously I bought the whole set. I've tried them all and I thought I'd review them because I think it's a cool example of a well thought out environmentally friendly system. Most of the products are household products but there are some beauty products in there as well. This isn't sponsored, Zerico offered to send me products after I've reached out to them about a question but I wanted to try them out over a longer period of time without too much pressure. So the concept is Zerico is a household and personal care product company that focuses on reducing single use plastic. And I'm usually quite skeptical when it comes to brands that focus on reducing single use plastic. Part of this is because I'm used to reviewing skincare and compared to other sources of single use plastic in our lives, skincare is really just not that much. It takes a while to finish up most products, but a lot of skincare brands act like you're going to save the world if you buy their serum. Another big reason is that a lot of plastic free brands make a lot of trade Offs that don't really make a lot of sense, they aren't really well thought out, and it ends up being greenwashing. For example, sometimes they switch to really heavy glass containers that end up having a huge carbon cost for transport, and they also break a lot in transport, which means you end up wasting a lot of product. Sometimes brands switch to bioplastics that might be compostable, but not truly biodegradable. They can't be recycled and most people don't compost them properly, so they might have been better off just using recyclable plastic. Some of these bioplastics also have a bigger carbon footprint than traditional plastics if you make them using renewable energy. And the final reason is that most eco-friendly brands are also really into that whole clean beauty scientists are trying to kill you thing. I hate this sort of marketing, I've talked about why in my video, clean beauty is a scam and won't give us safer products. I don't really boycott this because it's so hard to find brands that have zero clean beauty fear mongering in their marketing. A lot of the time it's because the brand themselves are misled and I try to be nice to people who are doing the wrong thing out of good intentions. But I do get really annoyed and if there's an alternative, I'll take it. But Zerico do household products, which is something we use a lot more of, so we have a lot more single use containers. And Australia is pretty bad in terms of the amount of single-use plastic per person. Zerico also have a lot more dimension than just taking ocean waste and turning it into bottles. I asked my two favourite sources for environmental science questions what they thought, the EcoWell and Waste Free PhD, and they both said it looked like a pretty good idea. Zerico is based on a closed-loop refill system. You buy their products which come in refillable pouches. There's also optional forever bottles which come in pretty, millennial-friendly pastel colours. I bought the starter kit which has everything in it. You fill your dispensers with the pouches. Once you collect 15 empty pouches, you send them back in the reply pay mailing bag. You need 15 to make the carbon cost of mailing worth it. Zerico then clean and refill the pouches for the next person. The dispensers are made from ocean beach and landfill bound waste. There's a tracking code on the back so you can see where your bottles have come from. For example, all of mine have come from Indonesia. The pouches are also made from plastic that would have gone to landfill. They can be reused over and over and over for a very long time according to Zerico. When they've worn down, they're going to be used to make something else which Zerico haven't disclosed yet. As well as being reusable, these pouches are a lot lighter than traditional bottles and so that saves the carbon emissions from transport. Zerico has also recently introduced carbon negative deliveries. That means they're offsetting two kilograms of carbon dioxide per one kilogram produced. Carbon offsetting is a bit of a mixed bag. A lot of the time it's used as an excuse to not actually reduce emissions, but I don't think that's what's actually happening here. I think it's just meant to be a nice bonus. I'm sure it's not really a perfect system. I don't think using products is ever going to be not using products at all. But I prefer not to live in filth, and this seems to be a lot better thought out than a lot of systems I've seen, and it covers a lot more bases. Zerico also asks for suggestions if you work in the environmental space for how they can improve, so that's also quite nice. On top of being pretty damn thorough, the things that really sold me on Zerico were, firstly, they're super convenient and customer friendly. They have all the products I normally use and more. Getting everything from the one place is a lot more convenient and also has a smaller impact than say getting laundry detergent from one place and dishwashing tablets from another. It is mail order only though and the 15 pouch system might be a bit of an issue if you're running low on one thing before you run out of something else, but they are looking into getting their products into stores soon. 
There are tons of clear instructions and answers to questions. They have a super comprehensive website. They have videos on rolling out the refill pouches. They have tips on things like removing the tamper rings before refilling your bottles, which as an overthinker, I really appreciate. They've also been really responsive to questions through their chat and through their social media. The second big point is that their products actually sound really good. My biggest worry whenever I switch to an eco-friendly brand is that I don't end up liking the product so I don't rebuy them. That means that I don't end up reusing the reusable containers and because the reusable containers are usually much heavier and more robust than regular containers, I end up having a bigger impact on the environment than if I just use my normal products. And that's even worse if the product is so bad, I don't end up using it all up. The handy thing about Zerico is that they have hundreds of reviews from customers on their website. Everything is overwhelmingly positive and you can see everyone's experiences with the products. On top of that, they sent a lot of their cleaning products to independent testing labs for the sorts of comparisons you see from consumer advocacy groups like Choice. All of the ones with published results performed really well. For example, you can see their laundry detergent ones here. They also have convenient price comparisons with supermarket brands on their website. I think sometimes they've chosen their comparisons very carefully, but it isn't like they're comparing it only to really expensive products. Obviously supermarkets have regular sales, so it's not like you're buying everything at full price, but I think a lot of people, including me, are happy to pay a little bit more if it's better for the environment. They also have price breakdowns, so you can see their pricing structure and their profit margins, which is pretty neat. Number three is ingredient transparency. I talked about how I'm allergic to MI and MCI on Instagram. These are two preservatives that are commonly found in detergent and shampoo, and about 1.5% of the population is allergic to them. Unfortunately, a lot of laundry detergents don't list out their ingredients like a cosmetic product, and they don't even list out their preservatives like drug products in Australia do. I think we hear a lot about how unregulated beauty products are, but we get a lot more information about them than we do about household products. So I've had a lot of instances where I'll try out a laundry detergent and then I'll get itchy and it took me a really long time to narrow it down to MI and MCI. I'm still not 100% sure because it's so hard to track down these ingredients. Zerico have ingredients lists for all of their products so it's really easy to look for allergens. I think the only thing that's missing is the vague solubilizer on the air freshener but you never really see ingredients lists for air fresheners anyway and they don't really get on your skin so this is already infinitely great. Number four is limited ingredient fear-mongering claims. I was actually expecting the worst from them because they're from Byron Bay and that is like the anti-vax capital of Australia. This is a super frustrating topic for me and other scientists. A lot of the time, eco-friendliness goes hand in hand with fear-mongering claims about ingredients that make no sense if you understand the basic principles of toxicology. And that makes me lose confidence in whether or not they're actually being environmentally friendly, whether or not that is actually based on science and it isn't just greenwashing. I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of fear-mongering. There is a little bit, but it's not too loud, and it's near the bottom of the page, so you actually have to scroll to get to it. They have this most insert product name that you buy from the supermarket contain harmful chemicals that aren't great for you, your family, or the planet, which is like, eye roll. They do say no nasties, but they don't go deep into the pseudoscience of how particular ingredients are bad for you, which is nice. I prefer if they didn't have this at all, but again, this is some of the least fear mongering I've seen from an eco-friendly brand. They do have this cringy moment where they say no sulfates, but they clearly have sodium cocoa sulfate on their hand wash and their body wash. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sulfates, but if you're going to make that claim and fear monger about sulfates, you probably shouldn't have sulfates in your products. Now onto the product reviews. I was genuinely surprised by how much I liked the products. I'm used to products from eco brands being a bit lacking in the performance department, but these were actually really great. They smell really nice, they use a lot of essential oils as their fragrances, but it's still quite light. Unfortunately, there aren't fragrance-free options yet, there's only one option for each product, but they're working on that. Starting with the laundry liquid. This was the product I was most worried about. I'm allergic to a lot of laundry liquids. I've had to change the sheets in the middle of the night once because I was itching so much. I messaged them to ask if they recommended their detergent for people with sensitive skin. They said they didn't know, but people with sensitive skin had given it good reviews. So I really appreciated their honesty there. It smells nice, it has a light scent. It works well, there's no itchiness for me. The Forever bottle has the measuring cup lid and the pouring spout, which is standard in a lot of supermarket brands, but not in all eco brands, which I really appreciate. It's really convenient. I'm a bit scared to use their stain remover because it's one of the few products they have that have MI and MCI. 
The main thing I use stain removers for is my reusable cotton pads and I really don't want to get stuff I might be allergic to in my eyes. I did use it once on cotton pads and it seemed to work pretty well and I didn't really have any issues with it but I'm still a little bit cautious. My biggest issue is there's no instructions on the forever bottle for this so I have to look at the pouch every time I use it. I guess it's fine if you're going to stick with this for years and years but so far I haven't used it enough to be familiar with it. The multi-purpose cleaner and the bathroom and shower cleaner. I don't know what to say about these, they work as well as my other products. They smell okay, they still have that sort of punch you in the nose smell that you get from regular cleaners. It's from the alcohol which is their main cleaning ingredient. The bathroom cleaner also has lactic acid which is pretty standard for chlorine free cleaners. I use the multi-purpose cleaner on most things, I've used it in my plastic bins, I've used it on my induction stove top and my wooden table and my stone bench top and I haven't had any trouble with them, it works really well. Now the air freshener is the one product that I didn't think I needed. Like every other millennial in Australia, I have the Aesop Post Poo Drops which are essential oils that you drop into the toilet after you do a poo. So I didn't really think I needed this, but I've ended up really liking it. It's a spray air freshener, so it de-stinks the whole room a lot faster. You can also use it in other rooms if someone lets off a really bad fart. This is the other product that has MI in it, so I just try not to breathe it in. I haven't had any issues with it yet. It smells nice. I've also been really liking their dishwasher tablets. These are optional, they have a starter kit without the dishwashing tablets if you don't have a dishwasher. They come in a cardboard box, they're little tablets with the dissolving wrappers. These actually work better than my normal dishwashing tablets, but they are a bit more expensive. In my dishwasher, they didn't leave any droplet marks on my glasses. I did see some people complain about that, but maybe my dishwasher just works particularly well with these. I am a little worried about the cardboard box because of those dissolving wrappers, moisture can get in really easily. Maybe it would have been better if it came as like a bottle of powder. The dishwashing liquid is also decent. It's not as good as my normal brand, which is Morning Fresh. I would have preferred this to come with a pump top, but I actually used my pump bottle, which I refill anyway. The toilet cleaner also comes in the same sort of bottle, so it's got like a disc lid. I would have preferred a pointy nozzle that you can aim around the bowl of the toilet, but it actually works pretty decently. The toilet cleaner uses lactic acid, which is pretty common in bathroom products that are chlorine free. The body wash and the hand wash come in these pump bottles, which is really handy. They smell really nice. They have a nice fresh unisex scent. I think it might be a bit strong for some people. Again, they've said they're looking into fragrance-free versions, but right now these are the only versions available. They work really well, they use sulfates, sulfates are great. Since I bought the box, they've also announced four new personal care products as well. They are a shampoo, a conditioner, a body lotion, and a deodorant. I think this is really convenient because then those can be shipped with these as well and getting everything from the one place is a good way of saving on carbon emissions. Again that is assuming these products work for you, if they don't work then it's not going to be a good system. I don't know what the products are like yet, they haven't been launched. Unfortunately a few more of these clean beauty claims have come in with the personal care products. They claim to be free from silicones, SLS, SLES, EDTA, dyes, parabens, phthalates, TEA, DEA, dimethicone, formaldehyde, and triclosan. It's a bit silly because the shampoo uses sodium cocoa sulfate, which is the same thing as in the body wash and the hand wash. Sodium cocoa sulfate is actually about 50% sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS. Laurel refers to the fatty acid in the surfactant. Coconut oil has lauric acid as the main fatty acid. So sodium cocoa sulfate is actually about 50% sodium lauryl sulfate, 16% sodium marystal sulfate, 10% sodium palmitol sulfate, and the rest is a bunch of pretty similar sulfates. Overall, they look like pretty decent formulas. The conditioner doesn't have silicone, so I don't think it's something I would regularly use. I was actually surprised that they didn't come out with bar products. Maybe it was a bit too hard to formulate them and put them into their supply chain. Another eco brand, Ethique, has bar products and they can save a lot on carbon emissions if they work well. One bar is equal to three bottles of shampoo and it really saves on that weight of the water that would be there if you had a liquid product. I've tried out a few Ethique bars recently and Ethique are one of the least fear-mongering eco brands so check them out if you're interested. Unfortunately again their conditioner bar doesn't work for me because of the lack of silicones. I'm most excited about the deodorant. A lot of people have complained to me that they want aluminium in their deodorant so it's antiperspirant but they can't find one that doesn't have single-use plastic. This is a refillable roll-on antiperspirant deodorant with aluminium. Apparently this is a world first. 
They have an FAQ that explains their decision to use aluminium really nicely, and I wish they did the same for their other products so they could say something like, FYI, we don't use these ingredients, but we don't actually think there's anything wrong with them. The body lotion also looks pretty standard, which is actually a good sign. It comes in a pump bottle. So that's an overview of a new brand I've been trying that I think is really promising in terms of how they address being environmentally friendly, and there's a lot less greenwashing than I usually expect. They still have some gimmicks in there to hook people in, but they've implemented some pretty solid ideas. They also successfully get around a lot of pain points that I think stop environmentally friendly brands from having a larger impact. They're currently only available in Australia. I do have a referral link down there. You get $10 off, I get $20 off. I rarely ever use brand specific referral links, but I do really like this brand. I genuinely think this is a good idea. Zero code do have a lot of discount codes, so that might not actually be the best discount code at time of buying. Thanks to Jen of the EcoWell for helping me out. She is my go-to on sustainable beauty. She has a really great podcast where she interviews experts and also Waste Free PhD, Laura, who is great for things about plastic. You can also follow me on Instagram at labmuffinbeautyscience and check out my blog labmuffin.com for more science behind beauty.